What? What? Look, if I don't clear my sinuses, I'll snore all night. Gee, if your kid spills his milk, what do you do, slap him in the head? What, what, what is that supposed to mean? You're not a very tolerant person. Look, you've been under my skin since New York, starting with ripping off my cap. God, you're a tight ass. How'd you like a mouthful of teeth? Oh, and hostile, too. Nice personality combination. Hostile and intolerant. That's borderline criminal. Screw you. You spill beer all over the bed. You smoke. You, you, you mess up the bathroom. Well, who let you stay in the room? I even let you pay for it so you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you almost certainly are. Oh, I'm an intruder. Yes, you're an intruder. I was having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. I walked into your life. Who was that who talked my ear off on the plane? Who was that? I'm curious. Well, who told you to book a room? I did out of the goodness of my dumb old heart. Boy, you're an ungrateful jackass. Well, go ahead. Sleep in the lobby. See if I care. I hope you wake up so stiff you can't even move. You're no sane. You've got a free cab. You've got a free room. Somebody will listen to your boring stories. I mean, did, didn't you notice on the plane when you started talking? Eventually I started reading the vomit bag? Didn't that give you some sort of clue that, hey, maybe this guy's not enjoying it? You know, everything is not an anecdote. You have to discriminate. You choose things that are funny or, or mildly amusing or interesting. You're a miracle. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Honey, I'd like you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Oh, and he has a gun so he can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. I, I could tolerate any, any insurance seminar. For days, I could sit there and listen to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. And they'd say, how can you stand it? I'd say, because I've been with Del Griffith. I can take anything. You know what they'd say? They'd say, I know what you mean, shower curtain ring guy, whoa! Jeez, it's like going out on a date with a chatty Kathy doll. I suppose you have those little strings on your chest, you know, you, you pull it out and you have to snap it back. Except I wouldn't pull it out and snap it back, you would. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, and by the way, next time you're telling one of your little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. Yeah, you're right. I talk too much. I also listen too much. I could be a cold-hearted cynic like you, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. Well, you think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. 